For five NFL coaches, it's so long, farewell. They're out of a job just a day after the regular season came to a close. Well, there's a good reason why the NFL calls this Black Monday. Basically, a dozen teams go on to the playoffs, 20 teams begin the offseason. At least, maybe as many as half of them looking for a new coach. The Cleveland Browns kicked off the firing Sunday night, saying goodbye to Rob Chudzinski after just one season. In our minds, there should be improvement happening. Uh, at whatever level you may assess the team or the talent, as you go through a season, uh, you see teams get better. The Washington Redskins' Mike Shanahan was gone Monday morning after four years and finishing up a 3-13 and season. And I can't tell you how supportive this fan base is. And to uh, be able to coach here, be the head coach in front of fans like that, that support you the way they do. We won Super Bowls. We used to win. You know, we used to win a lot. <laughs> Hopefully, this will be a good thing. Next came Detroit's Jim Schwartz, Minnesota's Leslie Frazier, and Tampa Bay's Greg Schiano. AP sports writer Jim Litke expects even more departures before the week is out. A lot of people think the NFL stands for not for long. I think it's not the kind of turnover. You'll see much more turnover, for instance, in the professional soccer leagues. You look at the top clubs, they'll go through three or four coaches sometimes in the same season. Expectations in every league are very high. And now the speculation turns to who will fill the open jobs. Penn State's Bill O'Brien seems to be the hottest candidate and is interviewed for Houston's vacancy. The Texans released coach Gary Kubiak late in the season. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.